Hello everyone and welcome to another beautiful day in Athens, Greece. This is your host, Two Greek Wheels, and this is another episode of Scooter Tuesdays. Now today, I want to talk about the French election. That's right. French election was held over a week ago on Sunday, on past Sunday, on that Sunday, whatever, figure it out. Uh, I mean, of course, the presidential election while we sit here and watch this uh, blue French car. Uh, the uh, election was uh, held, an election was held, and uh, Mr. Emmanuel, I think, Macron won. And Miss uh, Madame Le Pen uh, lost uh, the presidency, uh, which was to be expected, to be completely honest. Um, but uh, I sort of think there's a problem right somewhere. Let me just see what's going on, sort of right there. And I'll tell you where the problem is. The problem is that... I don't think most people wanted uh, Mr. Macron as their uh, president. I think most people didn't want Madame Le Pen as their president. Uh, and that's a, that's a very big problem because this is Greece. And we know all too well about elections and people voting who, you know, the lesser of six evils. Now, this keeps happening and it's not good for anyone. Not good for a democracy, not good for people, not good for anyone at the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, people tend not to choose who they want. They don't choose policies that they want implemented. They mostly don't want this guy, so they choose the other guy. Which is not really the point of democracy. Uh, but here I am motovlogging about the point of democracy, as if anyone cares anymore. But still, let's, uh, let's go through this and uh, whatever, maybe we'll find some supporters. Now, this is a problem here as well, because whoever we vote for in this election, they're not going to do what they say they're going to do, right? We're mostly choosing who's better at lying and better at trying to explain after the election he's won why he's not gonna do what he said he would which is insane but this is Greece and this is 2017 so we are insane <laughs> now as far as voting for the lesser of two evils that's crazy enough all by itself um, I believe uh, but there is another issue there, one that I feel the whole of Europe has sort of missed. And I don't mean the people, I mean the shitty ass politicians in Europe have missed. People don't vote anymore. The people that do vote are the people that vote the lesser of two evils, whilst half of them don't even want to vote. So I'll give you an example. In the last election we had here, which was two years ago, I don't know, we keep having, you know, elections. I don't know why. It's just the, the nature of being Greece. I don't know. We keep having referendums and elections. And funnily enough, the results never actually matter. Anyway. So the last election we had here was to, back in 2015. September, I think? Yeah. Now, we had a 44.5% that people didn't go vote. Now, let that sink in. If you're normal and have half a brain, that's almost half the people, half the population of this country, half the active, anyway, population of this country, did not vote. Now, in Greece, it's illegal not to vote, but no one pays attention. So, yeah, it happens. 
And I know most people are going to say, no, it's wrong that you should always vote. Because if you don't vote, in a pedantic voice, because if you don't vote, then you don't have a say in what happens in your country, and you can't complain about the policies implemented by the government because you didn't vote. Oh, damn. Now, I know that, and I, you know, agree to an extent, uh, but not fully, and that's, that's an easy answer, because who the shit were we going to vote for? I mean... Sure, all that, yes, but at the end of the day, there has to be someone you want their, their, their policies, like, interest you or whatever, so you vote for them. You can't vote for the people you don't want. That's also insane. Yes, you should vote because you should be an active member of society and blah, blah, fucking blah. But... There has to be someone to vote. And if no one floats your boat, then why should you vote? There you go, a nice little poem for you. And no one's paying attention. Come on, people. 44.5%. Next time, I guarantee it'll be over 50%. Over half the active population of this country with the right to vote are not going to go to the polls. Because they do not want any of them. But of course, as politicians do, as shitty politicians do, let me rephrase that, no one's paying attention. Because we all have systems set up so that we can elect governments, even if they only have 20% of the vote, and 50% of all people didn't actually show up to vote. But still, the government will be elected. And that's insane. That should not be legal. That should not be fucking constitutional. But it is. I mean, there has to be something saying that over 50% have to vote so the election will count. Otherwise, it's just insane. It's just insane. People are, you know, being governed by the 20% of the 50 percent that's not really democracy now is it by definition it's not anyway i'm gonna stop being crazy right now please tell me that i'm not insane in thinking that a country should not be run on 20 percent of the 50 percent of actual active people please please help me with this please help me understand why shitty politicians don't seem to understand that people don't want anyone anymore. Anyway, enough ranting. This is a motovlog. And motovlogs are reserved, usually, for a <clears throat> subject like, Oh, dude, where's my car? Where's my car? Oh, dude! Now, this one wasn't. This one was policy and politics. And it's not going to be the last one either. So... If you want more of this you should really subscribe if you don't don't subscribe but there will be more of this because i don't think we're talking about this stuff enough and i think it's insane because we have to live our lives every day in this shit so maybe we should open a bit of a discussion now i know the youtube comment section isn't really the vimos of ancient athens I'm not going to tell you what Demos was, look it up, but come on guys, this is our lives at the end of the day. I mean, there will be shitty videos here on here, like fun videos, but come on, come on! That was it for me, for the longest Scooter Tuesday so far, I think, and um... I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the comments. Um, until the next time and the next episode of Scooter Tuesday, I have been Two Greek Wheels, you have been great, I'll see you then.